2013 GMC question number 12. How many hexagons are there in the diagram? So for this one, uh, we have to do the classification, means we need to find different types of hexagons first and then count it. Finally, just add them all together. So guys, as for the hexagon, we know that it's pretty easy to find that regular hexagon. Right? This is a regular hexagon. Do we have that? Yes. So this one is one of that. And basically, you move that a little bit right, you have one more. And so this one, we're going to have three of that. Right? We have three of this one. And of course, you can have that a little bit longer, which will be this one. This is also a hexagon, right? So let's do that. As for this longer one, we still need to count it. So as for this one, how many of that do you have? You have one of this, and you can move that a little bit, right? You have two of that in total. And except this, we can have the largest hexagon, right? Can be this one as for this largest one you have only one of that which is the longest so we have only one of that and after doing that guys you have some other shape it's also hexagon a hexagon means uh, you have six sides of that shape right so basically this one is also hexagon See? And so this one, how many of that do you have? So for this one, you have two of that, right? You can move that right a little bit, you will have four. And of course, we can change the direction. We can have this one as well. And as for this, you're gonna have two of that. Sorry, you're gonna be two, not four. If you point, if the direction is left, you have two of that. If the direction is right, you also got two of that. Okay, so it's also two of that. And then after doing that, we can make this kind of shape a little bit longer. So that means we can have such a hexagon. Right? So for this one, you have only one of that. It's only one. And also you do the reflection of it. You have one more. Which is also hexagon. And now I guess that's all the different hexagons that we have. And now you can add them together. If you add three, two, one, you got six. And this two and two, I uh, got 10. And add one and one, you got 12. So the answer is 12. We have 12 hexagons in this diagram.